Welcome back to the channel. My name is Noah Igler and I help local business owners get more high paying jobs by appearing at the top of Google. In today's video, we will be talking about a question that I've been getting a lot recently, which is my Google business profile is suspended. How do I fix it? And ultimately, there's a couple main reasons why your Google business profile will have gotten suspended. In this video, I will walk you through every single possible scenario how to fix it and how to prevent it in the future. So let's get right into it. So this might have, you, you might have seen one of these two things, either your business profile has been suspended um, because this profile did not follow the guidelines or you will get an email, your business profile has been disabled. Um, so what causes it, how to deal with it and how do you stay verified in the future? So the first likely cause to your suspension um, or for your suspension was changing or adding a new address on your Google business profile. So I get a lot of home service guys who have a service area profile. They start following me on Twitter or they hear on YouTube or from someone else in the SEO space. You need a physical address. It's not true. You don't need one. You can still get phone calls and leads from Google without one, but it is a lot easier to rank locally when you have a physical address. So We'll get into that in a second. Um, number two, you got reported by another user or another company. Number three, you have multiple Google business profile locations, but you didn't set it up correctly. And I'll get into that in a second. And then number four, you are stuffing your profile with too many keywords. So let's talk about the address related suspension. Um, ultimately, these um, these can be completely random suspensions. So Google's algorithm is getting better and better every single day. They're using more crawlers and more AI um, to detect these sort of things. And so oftentimes, if you even if you have a real office, um, if you don't have a really strong profile, your business, your, your business profile could get suspended. Uh, this is very common for businesses that don't have a physical address, but do have one on their profile to get suspended. Um, but then also 90% of the time when you actually add or change your address um, without the proper preliminary work, uh, you will get suspended. So how do you fix it? Well, to get your profile back, you're going to need to build citations um, with name, address, and phone number before you do the video verification. So what are citations? Citations are essentially um, profiles in local business directories with your business information. So you'll put your business name, address, phone number, you know, keywords, what services you offer, your service area, all that stuff. Um, the reason you want to build these is because Google actually views having profiles in local business directories as this sort of trust signal. So you want Google to trust you, but you want to really focus on that, that a part of NAP, which is your address. So if you build citations, sorry, if you, if let's say you're adding a new address to your Google business profile before verifying it and making the change, what I would recommend is building citations, um, with the name, address and phone number with that new address that you're going to add, um, and build like, you know, as many as possible, 20, 30, 40, you can even pay someone on Fiverr to build you 300, um, index those citations, and then give Google a couple weeks to crawl those sites to then realize your business might actually have this address. Then you go about the video verification. So how do you do that? Well, there are um, really four to five main boxes you need to check in that video. Um, if you haven't done one before, what you'll have to do is do it all live so you can't you can't film it and then edit it. You just have to shoot it all in one shot and then upload it to Google. So you got to show the outside street signs. So if I'm trying to verify my office and it's a first, uh, a first floor office, I'm just going to walk outside, start the video, show the street signs. Then I'm going to walk into the office or the vehicle um, and show that I actually have access to this private office. Usually I use a key that works all the time. Um, and then next you need to show a utilities bill with your company name and that address. Um, also probably the most important part, permanent signage. So instead of just showing a business card, which can sometimes work, but you should not rely on it. Um, you need permanent signage. So you need it to make, 
you need to to make it look like you actually have this office and if you actually do have that office it's not very hard if you don't um you know i've seen businesses get verified with using like a printed out piece of paper on a white wall um, as long as it looks super legit and then finally access to your booking system or cash register um, something that your business uses that the average person might not have access to something that google has actually recently added back in which is postcard verification so google you you if you're lucky you'll get the option to send a postcard to the physical um, address location so if you are you know playing the risky game and actually using a fake address or you know an, a real address that you don't actually have an office at you could actually plan and time um, when that thing gets delivered and you can take it and then it will have you, you know, scan a QR code or put in a code. Um, none of my clients or businesses that I work with have gotten this option recently, but I have seen it on Twitter um, from some other people that have businesses that have gotten this option. Um, how do you prevent it? We already kind of touched on that, but you know, if you are planning on changing your address, build those citations. Um, also, Aged profiles are just a hack. You know, if your if your profile is ten years old, um, you're much more likely to, you know, not face this sort of issue in the future compared to a brand new profile. And then also, just don't touch the address. Just don't. And if you are going to, if you did actually move, um, talk with Google support in advance. Build those citations for proper preparation and do all that. All right. So the next type of suspension: user report suspension. So some competitors are actually out to get you uh, and you got to realize that. And they're probably working with an SEO agency if they do get you suspended. So if you do get suspended, probably the reasons where you were stuffing keywords in title and they reported you, you had irrelevant photos or posts or inappropriate ones and they reported you, you got fake reviews and it was super obvious. And so someone reported you or an over-exaggerated service area. So if you, you know, serve Dallas, but you put, you serve Dallas Fort Worth and also, you know, you know, 50 miles outside of Dallas, that's probably unrealistic. And so you can get reported for that. So how do you fix this? Well, NEP consistency. We talked about that previously. Name, address, phone number. You want to build local citations with your name, address, phone number all over the internet. Build like 30 to 50 to 100 to 300 index them and Google will trust that your business is, you know, accurate and, and, you know, authoritative. So if you did get suspended, do the same steps, that video verification, show the street signs, show your private access to your office or vehicle, show a utilities bill with the company name and address, show permanent signage and show access to a booking system or cash register. And if you get lucky, you'll have that postcard verification. How do you prevent this in the future? Well, those citations will really serve as kind of a, you know, a buttress or support for your profile. So if you have a really, really uh, trustworthy profile in Google's algorithm's eyes, um, you're less likely to get user report suspended. Um, profile age, like we talked about before, and then keep your profile reasonable. Use real reviews. And if you're playing the risky game and getting some fake reviews, be smart about it. Okay, don't just spam 100 in the span of three months. Um, you know, trickle in like 10 to maybe 10 real reviews to every one fake review. Post relevant photos and posts. Use your real business name. And then maybe if you want to, to stretch it, um, use one keyword in there, max. And then use a realistic service area. Don't lie about where you service, just to rank higher. All right. So the third type of suspension that you might be facing is the multiple Google business profile location suspension. This happens um, when you have multiple locations, but you don't use the um, a unique phone number for each location. So you can actually have multiple locations. This is completely within Google's terms of service. Um, it is completely legal, especially if you actually have multiple offices and locations. But even if you don't, you can set up different profiles, um, but you need a new phone number for each profile and you need to build NAP consistency with each location. So how do you fix it if you did get suspended? Well, we already touched on it before, NEP consistency. Um, and then also you got to do that video verification, but you need a new digital phone number. So I'll get into that in a second here. Um, how do you prevent this going forward? So I, a lot of my clients have two to three business locations in the same city, um, just so that we can actually rank you know, higher in, in uh, smaller regions, if that makes sense. It's easier to rank 
um, super close by your business location than it is 10 miles out. So if we put two or three businesses strategically located around the city, um, you're more likely to get more leads sooner, pretty much. So how do we prevent it? Well, you need to set up new digital phone numbers for each business location. Uh, you can use VoIPs or VOIPs. Um, Google Voice is probably the most common. A lot of us SEO guys or even some you know, Google Ads guys will, will set up CallRail or what converts. Um, this is just tracking softwares that we can actually make fake phone numbers or sorry, not fake, but um, you know, new digital phone numbers that will be tracked. Um, so you can also use one of these softwares and then set up citations with the unique numbers for the different locations to build that NAP consistency. All right, so the fourth type of suspension is keyword stuffing suspension. Usually Google will update your title before suspending it. Um, I've very rarely seen this um, with my own businesses or clients that I work with, um, but just rule of thumb, don't put more than one keyword in your title if that. So let me show you an example. Um, if we had an HVAC company named Hearts AC, um, a bad way of doing this and one that you will either get user suspended or Google suspended um, will be hearts, AC, HVAC, insulation, repair, heating and cooling systems. Um, and then a good way to do this is hearts, AC, insulation and repair. That's completely reasonable. Um, a lot of businesses will actually just have this sort of setup. Um, and I'll get into it in a second if you are kind of wary or you've done this and it didn't work. Um, so yeah, and then also like I touched on, this can be user reported or it can actually be Google algorithm suspension. So how do we fix it? Well, stop changing your name. Um, video verification, we've touched on, you gotta do this to get your profile back. Or if you're lucky, one in, in 10,000, um, do that postcard verification. So how do you prevent this going forward? Well, stop stuffing your title with keywords, long story short. Um, if you're in a competitive market like Dallas, Austin, New York City, Los Angeles, you know, Cincinnati, any of those, or any other city that you know you have competitors doing SEO, um, you just can't get away with it. They're going to be checking your profile. They're going to be reporting you every time they see a new keyword. So how do you prevent that? Well, if you really do want that keyword in here, let's say that your business name is Hearts AC, but you want your business profile to be Hearts AC Installation and Repair, so you have that exact match keyword, you will get better rankings, that is a fact and proven. Um, you can actually create a doing business as name for your business with that keyword in it, um, if it's reasonable, and then re-index citations or build new citations with that um, to update the name address phone number consistency on Google. And then you can make that change. Um, sometimes you'll have to re-verify it and you're good to go. So I hope this video was helpful. If you did enjoy the video, drop a like and subscribe to my channel for more local SEO content. If you had any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you. And then if you wanted my personalized help getting your profile re-verified, unsuspended, or just getting it ranking higher and getting more phone calls and potential customers, um, book a free consultation with me at the first link Book a free consultation with me at the first link in the description. Take care.